Are you ever too lazy to get up off of the couch and water your plants? Yeah. What if you could just call your cell phone and the job will be done? What? Oh yeah, do I have the perfect Rube Goldberg machine for you. Once you call your cell phone, it will vibrate, causing it to travel down an inclined plane and hit a line of dominoes, which will set off a trigger that releases the ping pong ball to travel down a ramp. The ping pong ball will then hit a barrier and change directions, ultimately hitting another line of dominoes. As the next line of dominoes topples, they travel up a flight of domino steps. Then the final domino will hit a toy car, which will travel down the inclined plane and collide with a tennis ball. The collision with the tennis ball will cause the tennis ball to fall into a weighted cup that is taped to the table. The ball falling into the cup will cause the tape to rip off of the table. It is important to know that there is a string attached to the cup and the water gun. As the weighted cup descends, the water gun will be squeezed, releasing water into a funnel. What's the physics behind this? Well, to begin, the cell phone starts at rest on an inclined plane. Friction is keeping the phone from sliding down. However, once the phone vibrates, the friction barrier is broken and the phone is able to travel down the incline. This is due to the parallel force component of gravity being larger than the force of friction. When one force is larger than the other, an acceleration occurs. Next, the phone will hit the first row of dominoes. Once the first domino falls, it can be concluded that the rest of the dominoes will fall. This is because the first domino converts gravitational potential energy to kinetic energy. Additionally, the dominoes are spaced close enough together that enough energy is converted from one domino to the next to result in the dominoes falling over. Next, there is a trigger system set up on the last few dominoes and the ramp. Before the dominoes topple, the popsicle stick is in equilibrium, which means the torques on the right and the left side of its center of gravity are balanced. However, once the final domino falls, the torques become unbalanced. For the normal force of the domino that originally existed on the right side of the popsicle stick is no longer there. Therefore, the normal force of the ramp pushes up on the left side of the popsicle stick, and the force of gravity pulls down on the right side of the popsicle stick, resulting in a clockwise torque. The popsicle stick rotates and ultimately falls off of the ramp, clearing the path for the ping pong ball and allowing it to move down the inclined plane. The final part of the machine is a pulley system. It consists of a weighted cup that is taped to the edge of the table and is attached by a string to a water gun. At the moment, the water is sitting inside of the water gun, and once the piston of the gun is compressed, the water will be squeezed out. Static friction is keeping the system from accelerating. There are three batteries inside of the red solo cup, which are intended to maximize the amount of force that can be applied before static friction is converted to kinetic friction. Once the tennis ball falls into the red solo cup, the system begins to accelerate because the force of gravity is greater than the force of friction due to the cup's larger mass. As a result of this acceleration, the tape rips off of the table. As the system accelerates, the piston of the water gun is compressed and the water is squeezed out. Oh my gosh, that sounds awesome. I'm totally gonna try it out right now.